Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag. TR Tony here, sat in the garage. A beautiful sunny day outside actually, so lovely weekend. Uh, looking forward to getting out on the stag in just a moment. Um, welcome back, hope you've had a really good week wherever you are and uh, all raring to go. Uh, good to see the uh, lockdown beginning to ease off a little bit, which now means we can get out in our cars a little bit more than we've done before. So looking forward to that. Uh, today's challenge, um, the roof on UES 591S uh, has always been a bit of an iffy subject for us. When we bought the car at auction, uh, Anglia Auctions, um, just over a year ago now, the car, as you probably know, came with the hard top attached, which was all great. We bought it unsighted and remotely on the internet, which I guess is always a bit of a risk. And it wasn't until several weeks after we owned it and got it back home that we took the roof off and then realised we had a problem with the convertible hood. So two objectives really today. Firstly, to try and fix the frame and fix the hood, make sure it's working okay. There are one or two rips in it too, so I'm gonna have to try and deal with that if I can. Uh, but the objective is to get the hard top off it for the summer and see if we can be running around with a hood up and down, depending. Um, but obviously I don't want to do that with a rubbishy roof. So that's the plan. And it may be we have to split the videos. I don't know. We'll have to see how we get on with time today. Um, but uh, the proofing obviously can come at the second occasion, maybe a little bit further down the line if we don't get time. But uh, let's go to the bench and have a quick look. OK, back to the stag and um, roof now off. So looking lovely in the sunshine. And um, the tonneau obviously has just been released, so we need to get that up and off. So that's that. And there is the hood, which I'm now going to try and pull up. And I'll show you what the problem is on the frame once I've done that. Um, in fact, you can begin to see it here. It's with two hands, I'll just go and get it. All right, folks. Well, um, to cut a very long story short, uh, I'm not going to embarrass myself any further. I took a whole load of videos about the uh, UES 591S's hood and it ended in tears actually so I'm so embarrassed I'm not going to show them um, what I've decided to do uh, and making a drama out of a crisis is to be practical about this and go and find some professional help uh, which I think is uh, well deserved this these hoods are so complicated uh, I think um, it's definitely worth an investment in finding someone who can do a proper job on it so i um, sorry to disappoint but uh, you saw a bit of the stag there I'm going to go over now to uh, a website I found and I found this guy uh, online also by recommendation actually too so uh, without further ado let's just go and have a look on this website and I'll just talk you through a little bit more about uh, uh, this guy up in Coolston. Now I've heard an awful lot about the Stag Hood Factory and the owner Craig Bartholomew. We've been in discussion for several months actually about various things over the internet and on Facebook. Uh, I believe there's a connection with Chris Spain who is the Stag Weather uh, chap many of us know who uh, also was very good with hoods and also with the bespoke kind of um, hood frame clips that uh, he manufactures to replace the old ones. Um, and so here we have the uh, Stag Hood Factory website, which is Craig, Bartholomew's, Craig Bartholomew's website, and um, looks a real professional outfit, I must say. And um, if we've got so many problems with this blinking hood of mine, then I think probably we're going to go and have to have a chat with Craig and see what he can do for us. Um, it's based in Old Causedon, the uh, business, and um, operates his new purpose-built workshop where he carries out hood work solely on Triumph Stag. So um, I believe he's got various kind of gizmos and jigs and whatever to be able to align everything and uh, goes from anything from the, the framing of the uh, kind of hood themselves and, and rectifying that through to painting as you can see here then ultimately in recovering and I know he's got a good connection with Aldridge who manufacture these hoods on a uh, very regular basis and very professionally got a few examples here of some pictures that uh, Craig has taken and um, that's all looking terrific so yeah definitely a guy I think we should be going to see uh, he's even put a little video on there and um, what we'll do is see if we can get up to go see him perhaps next weekend and see what he can do to help us with our particular issue. Um, our UES 591S has been around many years 
and is showing its uh, age, unfortunately. And so I think uh, it does need that level of professionalism now to be able to uh, review what needs to be done with ours and how we can fix it. And uh, as I say, it's a good connection with Chris uh, at uh, uh, Stag Weber, who also does the cooling um, uh, solutions as well for the uh, Triumph Stag engine. So uh, that's a, a good thing that he does as well. But uh, Craig, I think, has uh, been trained by Chris, and um, I think he's... Uh, a guy definitely we want to go and talk to so so that's where we are i didn't want to try and keep tackling this um hood of ours uh, alone i think um you know there are so many aspects to this particular frame and hood that we really do just need to have someone have a proper good look at it and uh, not mess around any further um, and i'm going to save you all that embarrassment of uh, seeing me suffer too there you go okay back to the garage Okay, well, um, really good to just review that website, show you uh, Craig's details. Uh, I think he's got a real professional outfit. We'll find out next week. Uh, I'm going to do this as a double video, as I said at the start. So uh, giving you a little bit of background today, going to go off up the M3 and around the M25 in the Stag. Uh, I think it's Friday next week, actually. So planning to see Craig and to see what he can do with the hood. Uh, obviously film progress and uh, hopefully give you a little bit of a uh, insight as to what he does and how he does it but uh, certainly I'm getting good vibes and um, we shall see okay so uh, that's about it for this week guys thanks very much for watching hope you're well wherever you are around the world it's certainly very hot here in the UK getting up for 28 degrees today so uh, really really nice uh, at last some sunshine and uh, you're staying safe of course as well and uh, that's all great uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe give us the old thumbs up very much appreciated and uh, if you know of anybody else who think they would enjoy sharing the classics dream with us then please uh, invite them along as well to send them a link to the uh, to the video uh, too and uh, finally just uh, saturday sockets is something that goes out every saturday so feel free to click on for that it's an email we send out every saturday about some off-camera shenanigans and also the Ari the stag badge of honor free of charge again if you want one just get in touch and we'll send you one uh, anywhere in the world free of charge so all good all right, folks, have a great week. We'll check in next week on the Stag Hood Factory in a bit more detail, and we'll see you online on Ari the Stag very soon. All the best. Have a great weekend. Cheers.